Hey guys, it's Dave again back here at Dave's Dimension. Got a little surprise today. I was able to be fortunate enough, uh, fortunate enough to hear that uh, some local game stops actually got their hands on the Spangler Neutrona one by Hasbro. So we're going to be doing a nice little review of it today. I'm going to take the glasses off the glare it keeps it in the camera here. So what we're going to do is we're not just going to take a look at it, we're going to do a comparison. Now many of us out in the community, we, if you weren't fortunate enough to get the Maddie Collectors when they came out way back when, you've bought your own kits, whether it's from Ben of Kent, uh, KC, or do whatever manufacturer, uh, you know, personal uh, mod or vendor, whatever the case may be, um, then you've used different kits out there, uh, Ninja Tunes, uh, uh, Freaking Geek, uh, is our Franken Geek is coming up with a uh, wand kit, but I believe that's just for the spirit wands. But there's a bunch of different ones out there. Uh, GB fans, obviously, gbfans.com. Uh, they're the most well known one, right, guys? So I'm actually going to compare my KC wand, KC for Carnivorous Creations, uh, which is nice, heavy duty resin wands. It's got some heft to it. Um, the wand is, the lights, light kit inside is actually GB fans, guys, okay? So just to give you a quick rundown, we're gonna do a quick rundown on this. Turn it on. Okay, got the bar graph, vent light on. So we got your basic particle stream, right? which you're using to blast this ghost and to get a capture stream on them. Very basic, it's a red and a blue flash. Now, if you're familiar with GB fans, you know that their light kit has different uh, hit switches inside. Well, if you want to use a video game mode, you have to go inside and set the pin switches to reflect that. And the pack also has to be set to reflect that so you have the right sounds with the right lights okay so if I do that I'm gonna hit the switch a little buzzer we switch to video game mode and what they do is they allow you to do a shotgun protocol of each version of the weapon what I mean by that you get a one-off uh, blast every time you hit this trigger see I'm still holding the trigger down I release, I can do another fire. So I hit it again. Now you get the slime home. I get the slime blower. We're gonna cycle through to the next one. We have still the slime blower, but it's the slime tether now. Right? Okay. Going on to the next one. That's the stasis field for blasting your statues and other items, okay? Now, we have the uh, Mason Collider, which allows you to shoot the boson darts like when you're taking on Stay Puft in the video game. Okay, so we've seen those, right? Nice and decent. I have I close the blinds to make it a little bit darker in here, guys. You get the one-off shot back around to the particle stream. So, okay, you guys have seen that, right? Seen the graph goes up and down, and also you can see reflecting off my face the vent lights and the other lights on the gun box. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so now we're going to turn this down. She's off. Now, we're going to switch over to Spangler Wand. Now, if you have not been living under a rock, you've seen other videos or the reviews of the wand, so here we go. You know that you have to hit a certain sequence in order for it to work. If you do not hit that sequence just as I did, you will not be able to fire. So now I'm going to Extend the barrel. Now check out the animation here. You also see a faint little glowing. 
lets you know that that weapon is ready and on standby. You get a nice hum, courtesy of the intensifier. And they don't rely on a rumble motor. If you've made your own one before through GB fans, you know there is an optional motor that you can mount inside your gun box depending on size and scale. They are relying on the speaker to get that rumble, relying on the natural vibrations of the speaker within the plastic, okay? Pretty good idea, pretty inexpensive. So you get a nice steady animation there, guys. Now, this also has the overheat, so I'm going to let it overheat now. And it also, when it overheats, it shuts everything down. Hit all the toggles back off, turn it back on. And of course, when you turn it back on, you're back at your first weapon again. Now, the big difference is usually we hit a red button on our own wands to jump through it. You're gonna hit the hat light switch here, actually. That's how Hasbro went with it. You'll get a flash of that weapon's color and you get a little pulsating glow. You can hear the rumble of the slime blower. Sound is pretty consistent. It keeps the pulsating kind of rumbling like the slime blower would. So now we're gonna to switch to the next weapon. Stasis. And I'm sure the video is not doing the light animation on here justice. This is nice and bright and consistent. So now we're on the Mason Collider, okay? So you go from Proton to Stasis to Mason Collider. You have the Slime Blower. That's if I'm holding the button down, it does that. Otherwise, if you just give it a once push, it does like that. Hit it again. And we're back to particle strength. Okay? Now, as far as the wand itself, let's give it a little bit more light in here again. Now, you don't get the same animation that you would with the GB Fans wand kit, but for $99, you're getting a full size, full scale wand. Okay? Power down sequence on here. Now, the great thing about all, and also you guys might get a kick out of this, so I turned all the power switches off. You still get a little sound effect after you push it back in. I mean, this is weathered very well on its own. If you've seen the videos, you know that you're going to get a nice weathered wand. I mean, everything looks good. I personally don't see myself even trying to mod any of this. I like the shotgun stock on here. Even this faux tape that's wrapped around here, it adds a nice comfort to the grip. This is much lighter than my resin wand. So anyone who's rocking a 80% scale, 90% scale spirit, spirit packs, this will not weigh you down, okay? Now, the V-hook's a little different. But if you notice, we have standard screws, so we can take that off. You can even open this up if you really wanted to. For all you mad scientists out there who are going to be making mods, this wand is heavily moddable. Uh, thanks to, I was watching uh, GB News, Jason from GB News, Ghostbusters News on uh, YouTube. He did a video where he actually took his apart to show how much room is in here. Now, personally, I could see someone coming up with some kind of adapter that connects into the power so power source so that you can run your wands off of your pack's power. 
because that's all we have here is just a simple little connector that plugs right in. This is your standard kind of setup you might see in a lightsaber. Like uh, even if it's not a lightsaber from Hasbro, you'll see these kind of setups in uh, Saber Forge and also, jeez, um, I am forgetting the other one. Uh, there's Saber Forge and Ultra Sabers. Um, I myself am not a big saber collector. Um, I mean, it, it would be great to have one, but you know what? Um, I'm more of a Ghostbusters collector and uh, with the cosplay, more of Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, or Doctor Who kind of stuff. Um, all, and plus lightsabers, they, they get pretty astronomical. So, I mean, it's all about the modding. Also, another thing in here, I would like to see someone, if you guys can do this, not necessarily Hasbro, but I'm talking about the Mad Scientist community of Ghostbusters. Maybe if there's a way to connect some kind of Bluetooth adapter to the speaker or to the soundboard inside here, so it can route into your pack for some extra sound. Might be uh, doable, maybe a little Bluetooth adapter, guys. Some thoughts. I know some people have removed this. When you do, you, won't, you don't have a full handle. This extra foam, this is giving you that full handle grip. So personally, I would leave that there unless you're gonna get a piece of plastic to kind of fill in that gap and then wrap your own tape around it. That's one option. Uh, the shotgun stock, I would leave it on there. Now, some people wonder, well, what's with the shotgun stock? Personally, the fact that they left the video game features, they put the video game features on here, guys, I think that's actually gonna be canon with, with the pack. I mean, people have rumbled around that, yes, it is, that the video game is canon, but the fact that they're gonna have like a shotgun stock, like when you fire a shotgun, you get the kickback, so that this allows you to kind of hold on a better grip. I mean, we had handles on it before, but that fact, that's, I mean, I've seen some people have been talking about popping pins off here to get this off. I say keep it, guys. I love the extra kind of wiring here which reminds me when I made my, uh, when I assembled my KC wand. Um, some of the setup with special GB fans, I didn't think things through 100%, and I almost wound up running the wire from the little box here, where the switches are, in between the space between the barrel and the traditional hand grip. I'll show you guys what I mean. Now, on here, you have a little bolt here, and of course the wire is here, right? And if you notice, I actually have some of it running underneath my handle, but then it goes into the barrel and goes all the way through to the main box. Now, hypothetically, I could have ran the wire between the handle part, this handle, and this barrel. I could have ran it through there, maybe push another additional, drill an additional hole so I could have a wire going through, and then drill into the box. So I could have done that. So that is something you can do. So if you have your own wand kit and you want to make your own Spangler edition, go right ahead, guys. It's very doable. Now, the fact that this has some heft to it, you know, obviously, if you're doing the running montage, you know, this has the extra weight. But guess what, guys? This thing is like a feather compared to that. And let me tell you, this feels nice and sturdy. This does not feel like some cheap piece of plastic. I mean, it does feel lighter. And also, you know, you're gonna have it, those people who are gonna have the gripes about this uh, because you get like the technical, you know, the trademark, your copyright jargon is right on here. That's gonna happen. Anything commercial you purchase, you're gonna have that on there, guys. Can you take a little bit of sandpaper and sand it down? I'm sure you could, just like we do with the spirit traps. A lot of us do that. We don't want the, the trademark to be listed on there. So we rub it off with a uh, sandpaper. So it is something that can be modded. Am I gonna do it with mine? I don't think so. I mean, this is a nice light plastic. Like I said before, you can open this up. You can even change out this V hook for one that maybe fits your pack a little bit better. That's an option. I have a Ben and Kent uh, kit coming, coming soon and I can't wait for that. Am I gonna put this one on? I am undecided on that. I mean, I like this. But I also like the fact that, I mean, my plans, Ben of Kent kits is gonna have the vent light on it and everything. And so there's some uh, modification that we can control 
the power up and power down of the proton pack with this i'm probably not i may keep because i have a second one coming guys i may keep one of these on my spirit wand and i'll have my kc with the gb fans kit on my benekent at least until there's a mod and i'll keep the other one on display that's an option um another thing is the stand this is a very lightweight but it's also don't want to drop this is very flimsy okay there is actually a file on thingiverse for a spangler wand or a spangler uh stand okay i actually pulled it up here um if you go to thingiverse it's listed as ghostbusters afterlife neutrono wands mounts so if you go on Thingiverse, look it up, Ghostbusters Afterlife Neutrona One Mount. It's by The Legend of Mart. It was published February 26, 2020. So that was just a matter of days after the unveil of this, guys. So this has been sitting out here the entire time. You can print your own stands. I definitely think if you print on 3D, uh, 3D printer, you could play with some different, uh, different filaments for different colors make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more customizable. That's just my thought. I definitely think a 3D printed one is gonna be much more better than something like, I mean, this comes off one, two, three, without no effort whatsoever, guys. I mean, yeah, you can tap it with some hot glue or um, Gorilla Glue, rubber cement, whatever you have, super glue to kind of keep it there. But, like, you have a very faint Ghostbusters logo on there. You can kind of see it there. Um, I would like something a little bit more sturdier, guys. That's just my thought. And, of course, everyone knows that there's an extension on here. So, if you want to connect a split loom to it, maybe with a zip tie or whatever you want to use, electrical tape, you can do that. So, that is the wands. I mean, the lights are pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong with the lights. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison right now, guys. Hold on. There we go. So you tell me, which one would you choose? I'm liking the animation on my uh, Hasbro. We're gonna go through all the weapons here. What do you think about the slime blower now? That was stasis. Hey, sun collider. Now the Mason Collider, I'm a little, I'm a little bit undecided on. So that is the full blown comparison between GB fans, wand kits, and the Hasbro Neutro Neutrona wand. I mean, considering a resin kit is going to run you at least around 200 or more for pieces, um, you know, depend, even if you get a bargain, you're talking, what, 150, 175 if even, with all the hardware, and then you're paying another, what is it, uh, I believe it's around $50 for the one electric electrical kits from uh, GB fans, not counting the wire that has to go through the loom, and then of course your soundboard. 
Um, so, I mean, when everything's said and done, if you want sound for your wand, you're talking the 6950, uh, I believe, for the soundboard for the pack. Not counting the other odds and ends you'll need. We're getting everything in here for $99. It's a no-brainer. This is still up for pre-sale on, I believe, uh, Hasbro Pulse. Hasbro Pulse, they're not shipping the original orders out until the 16th. GameStop and a whole host of others. There's a lot of delays in shipping, guys. Um, a lot of people, you know, it just comes down to we have to be patient for these things. Again, I would have preferred a better stand. But it is what it is. It's what we have. Now, also, some people are displaying it a couple different ways. This is how we saw it at Hasbro Pulse uh, Toy Fair, right? Some people are doing it like it's a lightsaber. You know what? I myself am not a big fan of this, you know? Some people might be, but you know what I tell people? It's your item, it's your collectible, it's your gear. You display it how you want it. Not how I or anyone else tells you. Do what you want, guys. And like I said, you can open this up. These have regular bolts and screws that you can remove. And you can open it up and check out all the electronics inside. You can take this as hook off if you want. You can change this V-hook. Now, the V-hook, I have a standard Dixie Cup V-hook like you get off eBay or through any third parties like a good Facebook uh, marketplace. You can get them on Etsy, eBay. You can get them anywhere. This one slides a little further down, but if you notice, it's a much longer one. Let me compare it with the one I have on this one. You can see this one's a bit longer, uh, just a little bit. And also this one uh, has the ends pushed in a little bit. So it's a bit more of a tighter fit. This one slides down, but it does fit. Now, the great thing about this is with this only being $99, guys, this is light as a feather. It will not weigh you down if you have a spirit pack or a 80%, 85% or 90% scale packs because I know they are out there. So you have a lot of options. I'm not going to bore you with the details like the, the faux welds on here. I like that this is bent. I'm not going to go over all the stuff that everyone else is going over on their videos. There's some awesome weathering on here. They did a hell of a good job on this. Um, I mean, the scratches on here. Now, these are the faux scratches. These are the weathering they did themselves, right? You can see that right there. Now, now here's mine. These are natural scratches. I mean, you can see there's some wear and tears, natural scratching happening on, on mine. Okay, it's pretty close. I've only, ha I haven't even had this a full year, guys, this wand, and it's got a lot of scratches. So, I mean, they did top notch on this as far as the weathering. This has no weathering. I actually showed my wife this one. She's like, oh, did you weather? I'm like, no, we came like that. Because she knows I like to weather things. So, when it comes down to it, guys, $99 for the Hasbro wand. If you have the opportunity to get it, get it. I mean, who knows if we're going to have that insane markup like we did with Maddie. I mean... Even GBFans.com, they were recently selling one, I think. I could be mistaken, and I apologize. Um, they were selling one for, I think, maybe five or six. I've seen people selling them on eBay for seven and $800. Still sealed in a box. For, I'm not saying buy four or five of these guys. I'm not necessarily saying that, but I am saying this. Get yourself maybe one or two. At $99, are pretty affordable. It's not like these are going to go away next month. You have a couple months. Who knows? Uh, they may even have some promotions with Christmas coming up, guys. Hasbro Pulse might have some coupons and discounts. I'm sure once everything kind of settles down with the shipping, things will be much better. Um, but for $99, I, like I said, I have a second one coming. I'm going to have one that I might throw on my spirit once I get my Ben of Kent built up. And I'm going to have one on display. It's always good to have a backup, guys, right? So, what's your opinions of this video? Do you think I covered everything nicely here? There are some things you do have safety precautions on here. 
just like Egon would have built like safety measures. So not anyone can just hit switches and start firing. You have to do under the right sequence, guys. But I liked how I, this is very nice and loose. For those of you who made your own wands, you know that is not always the case. We have some stick, uh, some stiff hoses. Usually you have to run them under a hot, uh, hot air gun to kind of loosen them, them up. Same thing on here. This is nice and loose. And you can tug on this and this is not going anywhere, guys. Um, would I have liked a little bit more animation on the bar graph? Sure, but I mean, they have it so it's representing the intensifying of how, how just how much more you're intensifying your particle strength. So, I mean, obviously they had to come across a few, a few compromises. This clipper, people are already replacing this clipper and you have standard screws here. So this can actually come right out and you can put our standard clipper, uh, clip art on there. And that's something a lot of people have been doing. I was, am I thinking about doing that? Not at the moment. Maybe after I get my Benekent kit, uh, my pack fully built, maybe that's something I'll look into. But for right now, uh, there we are. So what do you guys think? Is this a yay or a nay? And if it's a nay, if this is a no for you, give me the reasons why. I'd love to hear them. Now on the back of this also, you have like the faux plates, just like uh, I, my wands. I actually don't have a bolts, but it's a little piece of wood that slides right out and it covers up the inside wiring. They kind of have the same thing here. So I love that they went so far and went so realistic with it. I mean, even the labels are nice and faded on here. Everything's just, I mean, I love that the extra part that we can actually move this dial. You know, it's not a static device. It's, you can move this. And I mean, I could see maybe some people rubbing some dirt or doing some brown dry brush, maybe some cream or some, uh, brown dry brush to add a little bit more dirt and scuff to this. I would love to see that, guys. Um, I would have liked to have the standard switch here because that's what I have on the other one. Um, but I get that this is our switch here. But I mean, you can't go wrong, guys. You really can't. Um, if you're a Ghostbuster fan, jump on this if you can. Um, if you have Ghostbuster fan, Ghost Head in your life, jump on it. Uh, these are still available at Hasbro Pulse. Uh, we have Hasbro Pulse, we have Entertainment Earth, GameStop, um, even BigBadToyStore.com. Um, sometimes their shipping can be a bit delayed, but there's plenty of sites out there where you can pick these up. Now, also, if you have some other items that you would like me to take a nice close look or review at, um, I haven't done a full review of the uh, Walmart trap. I have one unused that I might actually do. I'm planning to do um, a Doug K uh, Sponge Face McGee upgrade on that trap. I don't know what color I'm going to paint the sidebars, but I have the full kit here. I got the wheels. I got his full cosmetic kit in here. Just waiting for some time to go ahead and make that uh, upgrade myself. Maybe there's a certain style you guys want me to do it. 